Today, I want to present a simple method by which anyone can create a large number of columns in no time at all. I call it the puzzle method. Kolam is an ancient South Indian art form that is drawn afresh every morning in front of most homes in South India with approximately a population of about 252 million people. With every sunrise, women wash the front of their homes and using rice floor, place the dots and draw a kolam largely from memory. There is a new way of perhaps looking at a column. The conventional way is to look at a set of dots and to start with a line and traverse all these dots in a certain way until you come back to the starting point. So you're seeing dots and lines. The other way that occurred to me was that once you see a completed column with each dot with a line encircling it, that's a little piece of a puzzle. And there are many such pieces, one piece per dot and they're all connecting together into this uh, beautiful art form, this which we call kolam. So it's a, it's a matter of assembling the kolam with these pieces. Okay, what is a kolam? Here are three mandatory rules that every kolam must obey. Rule one, a line should loop around all the dots, leaving no dots unlooped. Rule two, Two line segments cannot overlap each other over any finite distance. In other words, all line crossings must be points. Rule three, all line orbits should return where they begin. That is, no loose ends. Okay, here is the five step puzzle method. Ready? Step one. Place the dots in any arrangement of your choice, and I really mean any arrangement. Here, let's start simple with four dots arranged in a square, which we'll number as one, two, three, and four. Step two, draw short line strokes, place halfway between every pair of dots, which we'll call bisectors. In this example, you have six pairs of dots, so you'll mark six bisectors. Step three, draw a little squishy around each dot with arms extending out towards all the bisectors related to this dot. Arms of neighboring squishies will touch at a junction. There are six junctions in this example. This is now called a parent column. The cool thing about this parent column is that all possible four dot columns will be created from this parent. Step four, transform the junctions into bonds. Here, we'll consider three types of bonds between a pair of dots. A cross bond called X bond, a broken bond called the B bond, and a double bond called the D bond. So, going back to the junctions we just drew, let's randomly choose to transform five of those junctions into cross bonds or X bonds, and one of them into a broken bond or B bond. Now, start from any point on a squishy and follow along until you reach the starting point. If all the points are not circled, then start again from an unmarked squishy and follow along till you reach the starting point. Repeat till all the dots are circled. Step five, smooth the curves to your taste. There you have it, a column. Okay, let's explore a few more examples of four dot columns using our five step puzzle method. That is, place the dots, draw the bisectors, draw a squishy around each dot, transform the junctions according to your taste, and draw line orbits, and finally, smooth the curves. All six junctions in the first example have cross bonds, or the X bonds. In the second example, all the junctions have double bonds, or the D bonds.
In the third example, the four outside junctions are X bonds and the two inside junctions are D bonds. All right, now that we are feeling rather confident with this method, let's explore a larger column that we saw before, a four by four or 16 dot column. Again, place the dots, mark the bisectors, draw the squishies. So let's pick only neighboring pairs of dots here, which is 24 in number and consider the rest of the junctions to be broken. Of these 24, let five of them be broken bonds or B bonds and the rest be cross bonds or X bonds. Once you finish the column and smooth the lines, you may even decide to place more dots for beauty, as long as the three mandatory rules for a column are not violated. How about we end this video with an awesome looking column called Brahma's Knot. Let's place 25 dots in a diamond-like array. Again, since the number of dot pairs will be 300, which is huge, let's decide to mark only neighboring dot pairs, which gives us a more manageable 52 pairs of dots. Mark the 52 bisectors and draw the squishies around each dot and we have the parent column ready. Let's make all the junctions into cross bonds or X bonds, except 16 of them that are shown here as broken bonds or B bonds. Now we are ready to draw the Brahma's knot. Here we go. After we are done, we can add eight more dots for beauty sake without violating the three mandatory rules for a column. Isn't that a beauty? In fact, with just the 25 dot pattern and three types of bonds that we used, millions more columns are possible with just that pattern. In fact, with just one dot, the number of possible columns is infinite. If you are curious and want to know more, you may want to download an article that describes this method in much greater detail from the link that's given below. Enjoy.